With the SBCA, we're coming up after the break. We will introduce you to Joey and to Snowflake and how you can adopt either a cat or a rabbit at half the price. Stay with us. You're watching BT. Say hi to the camera, Joey. Yeah. And a good morning to you. And this is Joey. Kim, tell us a little bit about Joey before he starts getting so fussy. You'll well, have to let go. <laughs> he, he's a young kitten, ready to go. You can see first thing this morning, he's full of beans. Let's play. Let's go. Mm -hmm. uh, again, kittens, don't get a kitten if you're going to have to leave them alone for like 10, 12 hours a day. Not really fair to them. Uh, they need the interaction. So... He's looking for it. <laughs> oh, you want, you want Steve, but maybe Nelson should adopt Joey. Uh, of course, we're here at the SBCA where people can adopt cats or rabbits at half the price for the registration fees, right? Yes, 50% off. We're really trying to find them homes, get them out of the shelter. It's too stressful for them in the shelter. The longer they're here, the higher the cost is to care for them, and, and the more stress and the more at risk they are of getting sick. And the same criteria, though, as far as yes. adopting. So it's not like anything is sort of left by the wayside that way. Let's meet Snowball. Uh, Snowball, uh, Snow, Snowball. Snowflake. 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 Oh, Snowflake. <laughs> Snowflake uh, is about six years old from Chilliwack. Owners were moving. She's been here 109 days. We're, we're really trying to get her, uh, you know, into a home. The the staff thought maybe she was deaf, but this morning I dropped my keys and she did hear that. So okay. uh, I'm thinking she's not not really deaf. Uh, it turns out she's a lap cat, which is really great, nice and calm compared to your kids <laughs> right there. Uh, older adult home where she can just kind of be a lap cat and be awesome. just a normal cat. My, my cat's actually going to be a hairdresser, <laughs> I think is what's going to happen. If you would like to adopt Joey or uh, Snowflake, you can go to the SPCA website again. 50% off registration or adoption fees, I should say, Riaz. we got lots more coming up throughout the morning, but Joey. Lots of talent as a hairdresser, I think. Very nice. Let's check in with a Spook here. Who's Spook? Tell us about him, Kim. Well, Spook came in with his buddy Callie uh, in uh, the end of June. So they've been here just too long. It's time for them to, to get out and get a home. Uh, Spook's about seven. Callie's 10. The, the home they were in, the owner's daughter got ill, so they had to leave the country for treatment right. and whatnot. So, uh, I mean, companions, they've had them for and since they were puppies. So we've they're bonded, so we're trying to find them a home together. So these two here, yeah. we get them a home together. Yeah, they're really nice dogs, easy dogs. If anybody's ever had two dogs, easy, easy, <laughs> easy two dogs. So. Excellent. Now let's talk about this little uh, vocal one here. <laughs> Pepper? Pepper's yeah. about five years old. Pepper's a little Yorkie poodle. Pepper was in a home uh, where his guardian was having a hard time taking care of him. Uh, we had him all groomed nicely. A volunteer groomer came in and just kind of shaved him down. He was a bit of a, a mess. Uh, he's looking for a home, a little vocal. Uh, good with the other dogs, yeah. but I think a little nervous of them. Uh, a little vocal, too. So he, he has to be prepared for that. Uh, very cuddly. Everybody says he loves to be picked up and carried around, so very cuddly, too. So. And I don't know what he wants right now. <laughs> I think he just wants to hang out. And if you want to adopt any of these dogs, of course, you can check out the SPCA website. We should point out, too, over at the Burnaby location, yes. you have what? We have uh, five Whistler dogs, the dogs okay. from the, the former sled dogs. Uh, they're at the shelter. We're working with them. They're looking for homes. So if, if somebody's interested, please come, come down and stop by the Burnaby shelter. There you go. Go to either website there, Michelle, either here in Vancouver for these dogs, or if you like any of the Whistler sled dogs, of course, you can uh, check out the Burnaby location. Lots more coming. Up on BT. <laughs> I think Pepper's trying to tell you something, Don. <laughs> We're here at the SVCA where we have three little buddies here that people uh, could possibly adopt if they're looking for a, a rabbit. Yes, these, these babies are uh, four months old, already spayed and neutered, ready to go. Uh, they are bonded, uh, so if somebody's looking for three rabbits, um, they're, they're really, really used to being in the shelter here. They're not afraid of the dogs barking, the noises. However, we're just getting them used to being handled now and picked up and used to that because they are prey animals, so you want to be uh, go slow with that and not scare them. So are, are rabbits typically good for families, for kids, or are they difficult? Uh, well, I think sometimes uh, people will often get them for their kids. It's a big commitment. Up to 12 years they live. Uh, it's You want to make sure you know they've got their hay for their diet, their pellets, their veggies, because they don't vomit or pass gas. If they don't have things flowing through their system, they can actually get 
block and die quite quickly. So it's, to me, it's a lot of work, and they're prey animals, so you always have to be careful and make sure that you're not scaring them and, and always being aware of their behavior and their emotional state. Exactly. Now, for people that want to adopt, at this point right now, there is a bit of a promotion going on for cats and for rabbits. Yes. What's the deal? Uh, half off, so 50% off of all of our rabbits and our cats, adult cats. Uh, come on in, you know, you get your supplies, come on in, uh, meet the rabbits, fill an application if you've had rabbits before and you have the time and want to get to know them better, come on in. And we should point out that you say fill out an application, and that's because, guys, uh, the criteria is the same for adopting the um, cats and the rabbits. Even though there's a 50% promotion, a 50% offer, he has, still the same kind of criteria. But if you want more details, you can, of course, go to the SPCA website. Licorice, muffin, and Oreo. Yes. Right? Good <laughs> breakfast. Mm -hmm. Very cute. Possible additions to the family, perhaps? Oh, this is a cute pie. This is Guinness. Tell us a little bit about Guinness there, Kim. Guinness came in because his owners were moving. He's about six years old. He's a terrier mix. We figured maybe a basset or something because he has the long body. Mm -hmm. uh, nice older gentleman. He, uh, a little nervous of the camera. Yeah. Camera shy, but he's a nice, nice older guy. Aww, he's a very nice dog. Okay, now so we won't freak him out too much there. Uh, so now, so you can back up a little bit just so we don't freak out, Guinness. Tell us a little bit about what we need to know during this heat. Well, it's still we're still getting calls. Goodness. We're still getting calls about people taking dogs with them and leaving them in their cars in this heat. So we're having to go, the police are having to go. Uh, it's really, really unfortunate because the dogs are going to be in distress in this heat. So right. um, please leave your dogs at home. You want to look for, if you if you have them out, even if you're out walking or running with them, uh, are they panting, drooling? Uh, remember that they're pads, that's how they sweat. And if they're on the cement or the asphalt, if it's really hot, that's, that's hot for them. Okay. So, you know, keep them on the grass. Get them to a vet. If you think they're overheated, get them to a vet. Well, and for more details, of course, on Guinness, who actually is very friendly, Nelson, you could be, give him a treat, give him a treat. <laughs> so you can, of course, go to the SPCA website. Uh, and again, for more details on any of the animals at all the locations, uh, check out their Facebook page or website. They're back at the station. Oh, Guinness, it's okay. Nelson's not so scary. 